Hello everyone. Thought I'd get this video out to you guys. I as I promised that I would once I had this set up, I would put it on the channel so you guys can see. I want to thank each and every one of you for coming in, looking and viewing the video. For anybody that's new, I hope you'll join our royal family and hit that subscribe button. And for new people, and for my royalties, please make sure you have hit that notification bell so you know when I'm uploading a new movie, movie, <laughs> video, Lord. Anyhow, it's been a long day today. Sorry, you guys. Um, and please feel free to leave me comments in the section below. Um, even if you don't like the video, if you hit the thumbs down, tell me why. I can handle it. Anyway, so without further ado, this is the tool planner, my new addition to my planner family. And I did share a previous video on the, all the items that I bought and everything with this um, and how I found out about it. And the ladies at my job that showed me it actually had bought these rings and I had the smaller rings, the one inch and she didn't want these because they were too big and I didn't want the other ones because they were too small. So we swapped out. So that's how I got these big two inch ones. I'm finding out that, um, where she's located, they have more in different colors. So I may do something different there. I am still waiting for the black cover to come. I think I'm going to prefer that because this was supposed to be gray. It is not gray. It is a dark taupe color. So it's kind of more on the brown color side. And I'm not very happy with that. So anyway, um, what I did was I put an LOL sticker here. Just a girl. Just to give it something here on the outside. But um, the planner itself, I'm happy with. Not happy with the color, but color of it but happy with the actual planner system so it's just bound like the happy planner but it's the size that I wanted um as I showed you guys before the classic is bigger I didn't want something that was really really small but I wanted something that would fit in my purse because this is kind of like my on the go take with me faith war binder type thing um, I do my scripture writing here. I have prayers that I, a prayer list of people I pray for. And I pray all day, even when I'm at work, because I can pray in my mind. I can take a break and go pray. I pray for people. The Bible says pray without ceasing. That's what I do. And then I have a section for my children. So I'm going to show you how I did this. Um, you know, I'm all about the simplicity. So it's pretty simple. Not a whole lot. Um, I did use some you know, stickers here and there. I did a bunch of printables. And what I did was I went on like Pinterest, Instagram, YouTube, um, Facebook. And if I was able to capture a picture or find where something that was would help with the spiritual walk, I would get a picture, snapshot of it, or write it down and print it out. And it went in here. So, without further ado, let me get in here. So, here's the cover. It's pretty thick. I love it. Um, I did share all this with you guys previously. I love the pockets because I can put, like I did here, I have some stickers. Um, I cut down some Planner Society stickers, some Happy Planner stickers, some other stickers that I had. Um, and I just put them all together here and suck them in here. Here, I have some washi that I put on. When I laminate things, I tend to keep parts of it, of the excess, so I can cut them down and use them as washi um, holders, wrap the washi on it, and then you got washi to go. Um, I will show you something else I do with these at a later date, but that's just that simple. And then, so I had some Planner Society paper that I had kept from a while back. Um, it's probably a year or two old. I don't even know. But I used to do swaps. I used to do a lot of crafting and things. So 
Anyhow, I had this acetate and matching piece of cardstock that matched. And what I did was I cut the acetate in half, punched it, and stuck it right on in here. And then I put a white piece of cardstock behind it so that the colors would be vibrant on here. And that's how I made the beginning opening to it. Okay. And so this is my scripture writing section. I didn't want to put tabs and all that in it. I, it's divided by those three pieces of vellum and cardstock. Um, here is one of the printouts that I did. I laminated it. Um, this came from, I'm in a lot of groups like the Warbinder, Bible Journaling, just an array, Princess Prayer Warriors. And so when people share things or we can go on Pinterest and get them, sometimes I will save the picture and print it out. And that's what I did here. So I saved the picture, printed it out on my printer. Um, all the pages are basically five by seven ish. I think it's five and a half by seven. And so as long as it's that size, I can do it. I laminated it, punched, put it in here. And I will probably be doing a in-depth Bible study on that armor of God because we all need to be geared up and armored up to pray. Then on this black piece of cardstock, I put a believe sticker here out of, I got out of my stash. Um, I have a lot of items. So then I took a white gel pen and I just took like 45 to 60 seconds and I just wrote everything that came to mind. Um, kind of almost like a vision board in a way, but not exactly. Um, like things like love, royalty, happiness, joy is my word of the year. Um, God's names, some of his names, Yahweh, Yahshua. Um, I put my favorite scripture here. And of course, Queenie's Place is down here. And then Bloom, Sing, just a bunch of things. So that's what I did for that. And I absolutely love it. Then here is like the principle. So here's one of the principles. It was a screenshot. I printed it out. And then here was another screenshot and I printed out and I did that. I did a whole stack of them and then I took the ones, I separated them in categories, took them and um, glued them together on each side and then punched them and then I put them in here accordingly. So hopefully that makes sense to you. So like these are in an order. So like this is stress makes you believe that everything has to happen right now. And faith reassures that everything will happen in God's timing. So this section is all about my scripture writing. And this is about planting seeds. As you, and then this is about um, how to start your day. And then you start your day waking up, thanking God, getting into your devotional, prayer, time, and whatnot. And don't ever give up. Just keep going. And then sometimes we struggle with getting focused. So here's... Just a reminder and some things you can do to get you help get you back on track. And of course, the battle plan. Gotta have a battle plan. Everything, war, everything, there, everything is strategized in life, period. So, you know, even the steps of us going to school from kindergarten on up and whatnot, everything, there is some type of plan. And so in prayer, there's a plan as well. So I put that there. And then here, this was a piece of cardstock. Same five by seven size, but what I did was I seen a video YouTube video. Um, if I can remember the planner babe who did this, I will link her in the section below. But she took just some happy planner stickers, which is what I did, only she used a different style of florals, put them on the paper, and then cut around what she had left here. So it's like she didn't fill the whole page, but kind of made it in some form. Um, here and cut it out and so I did the same thing punched it put it in on this side is just my name and some stuff I was going to put this in the beginning change my mind and then I love how this looks like it's one page but it's actually two so I put my devotional here so it's like the introductory to my scripture writing and then this is a card I had in my stash about praising God through psalms and some prompts here and I just kind of decorate that. And this is the Charles Stanley In Touch Ministries 
um, devotional. And it comes normally looking like this for each month. And I take it, this is a new one for June. I haven't even took it, taken it apart yet. But this is basically what I do is I open it up, take out this middle tab. Um, I pull this middle tab out here. And then I cut this in half and then punch it and put it in here. And then I put a page in between each lesson. So, like here, this is going to be a letter to God that is personal so that you guys aren't going to see that. But here's the lesson, and then here's the blank page. And then I do that throughout the whole month. And so, that's what I did there. And then at the end of that, I'm, I got to put June in here now. But, so she's going to get a little more chunkier. I took this piece of cardstock folded it in half and then I punched it I glued the edges and then I cut like this at an angle and I glued this piece down because it looks different on the inside if you can see that I didn't like that so I actually took the extra piece glued that down and then left the slit so that I could actually have a pocket here so that's a folder I can do a tutorial on that if you guys need me to or don't understand and then this side I just left it plain I could have did the same thing and made it two pockets but one is enough for this because I don't want it to get I want it to be nice and chunky but I don't want it to get just overwhelmingly thick and I think that's a problem that a lot of us have with war binders planners and whatever we're so busy trying to do what everybody else does instead of do doing what works for us this I need it to be nice and cute but at the same time, very functional and simple. So if that makes sense. And then so in this section is my prayer section. Here I will, I see prayer requests that might be from people, <coughs> excuse me, that I meet out in the streets day to day on buses, in stores. Um, sometimes I just hear things. Um, a lot of times I see them in the groups I'm in or on Instagram, Facebook, any social media, just anywhere. And then I have my family I pray for, friends I pray for, co-workers I pray for, you guys, just a bunch of people. So in this section, um, prayer is our way we fight. So we send these up to God so he can take care of the battle for us, even though it's already been won. But we have to, you know, keep our communication open with him. So I thought this was a great um insert to put in here and then on this side it's about miracles on answered prayers and faith here i thought this was just adorable it says help each other grow so you see her this plant watering this one and helping her to grow and i think that's what all of this is about god's love is helping each other grow and you know just blessing each other being there for each other, praying for one another, encouraging one another. So I put that there. And then here's um, whenever I find quotes or things that resonate with me from movies, books, or whatever, I put those here, my own. And that's basic what I did. I will put them in here. And so here is some of the whole prayer section. I thought this, I love the way the dec I decorated this. I'm not really a go girl, but... As you guys know, I'm silver, but it's hard to find a lot of silver stuff. So, anywho, I prayer requests, and that's pretty much what this whole section is. And I've got it covered up because that's personal for people. There's my ruler, um, because I need that sometimes when I'm underlining scriptures or things. And then this is from the Happy Planner, and these were stickers, or they actually are stickers. I just didn't take the part off for the it would be sticky for the adhesive and I just cut them off and put them in here and then grateful because I'm grateful for everything that God puts in my life good and bad because even the bad is a lesson from it or it's there to make me stronger so here are some simple truths about spiritual battle um asking the Holy Ghost to join in and then here is for um for with people, it's impossible. With God, all things are possible. And then this is a prayer for home. 
And then I had this from the Print, Pray, and Slay shop. And I just printed it on some vellum and laminated it. I just wanted her in there. I just like her. She looks so cozy. So she fits there. And then my last section, I did the same thing with the vellum, as I stated. And then it pops with the white behind it. But this section is in-depth about my children. And that's my children I birth, children I have adopted, children that maybe don't have a mom or have a relationship with their mom or dad or whatever, and they have adopted me as their mom. I'm a spiritual mom to some people. I have spiritual children. And then my grandchildren. And so this section is all about praying over our children and covering them and keeping them, asking God to keep them safe and whatever, and that no weapon will be formed against them and so forth. So basically, that's it. And I love this because, you know, a lot of people say there's generational curses and things over there, but you people have the opportunity to stop those generational curses come up against them. And I'm saying with, in my family, they stop here with me because I will go to battle for my family as will many of you. So that's pretty much it. I won't go into anything else behind here because that stuff is, like I say, a lot of it's in personal and I don't want to share other people's stuff out here on the social media, but she's pretty chunky. I love her. I'll probably add more to it, but I did promise that I would come on and uh, share what I've done. It's pretty simple. It has three parts. You know, a lot of the people want to, I see a lot of posts on how to do a war binder and how to do a faith journal and how to do this, but it's all up to you. Really, it is. I mean, you could take a plain spiral dollar notebook and turn it into the most heartwarming, heartfelt book of prayers and talking scripture writing to God with you, you know, it doesn't have to be something expensive. And that's what I try to enforce on this channel. Yes, I buy things. I usually get them at a discount or given to me or whatever. I like to share what I have. I like to do a lot of giveaways, but it's about your communication and your life with God. It is not about who has the best stickers, who has the best planner, who has the best whatever it is. It's about your relationship and your study with God. That's what it's all about. I don't care if you got to get a piece of scratch paper, whatever it is, as long as you make it your own, that's all that matters. Guys, it does not matter what it's in. So that's pretty much all I had for tonight. Um, it is late. It is really late. And I should really be in bed. I got to be up in like three hours to go to work. But it is what it is. Um, So, again, thank each and every one of you. I really, really appreciate each and every one of you. I can't say that enough. Um, Thanks for being a part of my channel and a little part of my life. And until next time, once again... Please leave me comments in the section below. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And don't forget to hit the bell right next to it for notifications. And have a wonderful, blessed evening. Toodles.